We are looking at rain chances. I told them to bring their rain jackets to school, so. I hope mom and dad have been nice and prepared. Yeah, taking a look at King Street in Boone, where we're in the low 50s. A bit of a cool start to your day, so maybe grab the light jacket. I saw a few folks out there for a morning run not too long ago along King Street. Winds are calm this morning, and we are going to have that shift out of the southeast. Low 60s for Charlotte, while everybody else is in the 50s. We have what we call Urban Heat Island. It's just another way of saying that the concrete all around the Queen City works as a sponge to hold on to more of that heat. That's why it's some of the warmest temperatures that you're seeing out there this morning, but we will warm warm up into the low 70s as we get into the peak heating hours of the day. You're looking at 73 Charlotte, Washington, D.C. up to Boston in the low 70s. We have the 50s towards Bismarck and Bozeman only peaking in the mid 60s. You're looking at 70s and 90s towards the West Coast. Phoenix and Las Vegas still on that hot side as we have this cold front sweeping across the country. That's going to be heading into the Midwest already pushing out some of those showers and storms close to home. That high pressure that kept us dry for so long has shifted off the East Coast. It's giving us more of that wind out of the southeast as it's enhancing the moisture around the Carolinas. Your satellite water vapor imagery that gives us a good indication on where that moisture is in the atmosphere. The gray and the white showing us the abundant moisture that's starting to build here over the Queen City, which is going to help spark some of those showers as the cold front approaches. So timing wise, Wednesday midday, late mornings into your lunchtime hour could see the first round of some of that wet weather. Then south of I-85 into the overnight hours before we get some of that rain in our mountain counties as well. That'll taper off for your Thursday. Let's take a little bit of a closer look and slow things down a little bit. You're looking at the timing left uh, or west of I-77 for the late morning hours. That'll push east and north tapering off with another round south of I-85 by about 7 o'clock for your dinner time. And then overnight, I think more towards the uh, mountain counties north of I-40 heading into your Thursday morning is when those showers will start tapering off. And then anywhere between half an inch to maybe an inch of slightly more as you head into your Friday morning. So taking a look at what to expect these next seven days, I think we hold on to those 70s with overnight lows in the low 60s tonight. All, again, getting some clear conditions throughout the weekend. Mostly sunny with upper 70s on Sunday, but another cold front comes through, giving us rain chances for Monday and ushering in mid-60s by Tuesday. 